In this video, we will be assembling a sidewinder slide. This video will provide step-by-step -step instructions to make for an easy assembly. Before we get started, here's a list of tools and supplies that you will need. We will also be utilizing the hardware kit provided. The first step is to use bag one from the hardware kit to attach the lower flume to the base. Turn the lower flume upside down, laying it on a soft surface to prevent scratches. Lay the base on the flume and attach them together using four two inch hex bolts. You'll want to use one flat washer for each bolt. Make sure to apply anti-seize on all threaded portions in this step and the ones to follow to prevent corrosion and galling. All bolts must be tightened by hand. We recommend using a 3 8 inch drive ratchet. Do not use an impact gun. Step two, installing a foam gasket and butyl to form the dual gasket on the lower flume. The second step will use the shorter length foam rubber seal from the seal kit tube and a roll of butyl found in the hardware kit. To begin, measure the center of your flume using the two bolt holes as outside measuring points. Using a marker, mark the center, making sure not to mark too high so it's not visible once the slide is assembled. Next, install the short foam rubber seal as shown, keeping it close to the edge. Once it is installed, cut off any excess and discard it. Next, take the roll of butyl and cut a piece to 28 inches in length. Take the cut piece and mark the center using your thumbnail. To install the butyl, Find your previously marked center of the slide. Match this up to the center of the butyl, putting the butyl directly underneath the first seal. The two seals should be touching for it to seal properly. The third step is to attach the middle flume to the lower flume using bag number three from the hardware kit. Using two people, lift the middle flume and place it onto the lower flume. They lock into place with a groove design. Once together, use two one and three quarter inch button head bolts each with one flat washer on the upper attachment points. Plastic clamps may be needed as an aid to align the bolt holes. On the lower attachment points, use two 4-inch hex bolts, each with one flat washer. Secure them on the opposite side first with a flat washer, then a lock washer, and lastly a hex nut. Once all the bolts have been started, it's time to hand tighten them. Use a 732nd Allen wrench to tighten the button head bolts. Use a 9/16 inch socket and a 9/16 inch wrench to tighten the hex bolts and nuts. The fourth step uses a shorter length foam rubber seal from the seal kit and the roll of butyl found in the hardware kit. To begin, measure the center of the flume. Using a marker, mark the center, making sure not to mark too high so it is not visible once you have the slide assembled. Next, install the short foam rubber seal as shown, keeping it close to the edge. Once it is installed, cut off any excess and discard it. Next, take the roll of butyl and cut a piece to 28 inches in length. Take the cut piece and mark the center using your thumbnail. To install the butyl, find your previously marked center of the slide. Match this up to the center of the butyl, putting the butyl directly under the first seal. 
The two seals should be touching for it to seal properly. The fifth step is to attach the middle flume to the upper flume using bag number five from the hardware kit. Using two people, lift the upper flume and place it onto the middle flume. They lock into place with the groove design. Once together, use two one and three quarter inch button head bolts each with one flat washer on the upper attachment points. Plastic clamps may be needed as an aid to align the bolt holes. Then, on the lower attachment points, use two 4 inch hex bolts, each with one flat washer. Secure them on the opposite side first with a flat washer, then a lock washer, and finally a hex nut. Once all the bolts have been started, it's time to hand tighten them. Use a 7 32nd Allen wrench to tighten the button head bolts. Use a 9 16 inch socket and a 9 16 inch wrench to tighten the hex bolts and nuts. Step 6, attaching the plumbing. For this step, we will use the PVC fitting in bag 6 from the hardware kit. Not shown is the use of threaded sealant tape and thread sealant paste that will be needed to ensure the plumbing does not leak. Once both of those have been added to the fitting, locate the access hole at the top of the upper ladder and thread the fitting into place. Be sure not to cross thread the fitting. Next, insert the tube through the hole located at the bottom of the upper ladder. Through the top access hole, find the tube and attach it to the PVC fitting using primer and glue that is up to code in your area. Be sure to first apply the primer, then the glue to both the tube and fitting. Once attached, hold them together by hand until it starts to bond. The seventh step uses bag seven from the kit to attach the upper and lower ladder. Begin by standing the lower ladder upright. Next. Lift the upper ladder and place it on top of the lower ladder. Make sure to guide the remaining tube from the upper ladder into the lower ladder. On the two outside rail connection points, insert the two 3 inch button head bolts using one flat washer for each bolt. On the back side of the outside rail, secure the bolt by hand, first with the flat washer, then a lock washer, and lastly an acorn nut. Moving around to the back side of the ladder, you will use two 3 inch hex bolts. First place a lock washer on the hex bolt followed by a flat washer and insert them into the connection points. Once all of these are in place, it's time to tighten them down. Use a 7 32nd Allen wrench for the button head bolts and a 5 8 wrench for the acorn nut and tighten them. Use a 9 16 inch socket to tighten the two hex bolts. Step seven and a half, installing the dual seal on the upper ladder. This step uses the long foam rubber seal from the seal kit used in step two. Mark the center of the ladder using the two bolt holes as your outside measuring points. Install the foam rubber seal as shown, starting from the top of one side and working your way around. Once it is installed, cut off any excess and discard it. You will also need to cut two 32 inch long pieces of butyl from the roll. Take the exposed side of the butyls and attach them together to double the thickness. Peel off one side of the paper and mark the center with your thumbnail. Line up the center butyl to the previously marked center on the ladder and install the double-sided butyl directly under the foam rubber seal. The two seals should be touching for it to seal properly.
Step eight, attaching the ladder to the flume assemblies. Step eight uses bag eight from the hardware kit. Use two three inch studs and install them into the upper flume. Tighten them using a 3 16 Allen wrench. Next, connect the flumes to the ladder. Use the studs previously installed and guide them into the two holes on the upper ladder located directly under the seal. Then use two three and three quarter inch hex bolts, each with one flat washer. Insert them into the lower connection points on the ladder side. From the flume side, secure it first with a flat washer, then a lock washer, and finally a hex nut. Next, install two three and a half inch button head bolts, each with one flat washer. Insert them into the upper connection point holes on the flume side. Then, from the ladder side, secure it first with a flat washer, then a lock washer, and finally a hex nut. Do not fully tighten any of the bolts in step 8. Step 9, installing the inner connection between the ladder and flume. For this step, we'll use bag 9 from the hardware kit. Go through the access hole at the top of the ladder. Use two 3 quarter inch bolts each with a flat washer on them and install them into the lower two connection points inside the ladder. Then take the two remaining flat washers and insert them onto the studs installed in step eight. Secure the flat washers with hex nuts. Once these are all in place, it's time to tighten them down. Use a short extension and a 9 16 inch socket to tighten the two bolts and a 9 16 inch wrench to tighten the hex nuts. Now return to the four bolts installed in step eight and tighten them. Step 10, installing the access cover plate. Step 10 uses bag 10 from the hardware kit. Install the access cover plate by putting the plate onto the lip of the access hole. Use six Phillips head screws to secure the plate. Be sure to tighten the screws by hand with a screwdriver. Using power tools increases the chance of stripping the plastic. The slide is now assembled and ready for installation. Refer to the assembly and installation guide for further information.